Welcome to the St. Lucie County Bailing and Recycling Facility Virtual Tour. We're going to take you step by step through the land of Away. The facility encompasses 331 acres. It opened in 1978 and has a useful life through 2045. The highest elevation in the landfill is 147 feet. The facility is open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. and Saturday, 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. Hand unloaders must be at the scale house by 4.15 weekdays and noon on Saturdays. As required by the state of Florida, all incoming waste is weighed and categorized by waste type and recorded. Two incoming scales are utilized to expedite incoming vehicles. The scale on the right is an automated scale named the Wizard. It operates similar to a self-checkout at a retail store. The solid waste bailing facility is where household, commercial, and industrial waste, class one waste, are processed and bailed. The waste is offloaded from collection vehicles onto this 50,000 square foot tipping floor. Approximately 500 tons of class one waste are processed daily. The waste is inspected for prohibited materials such as lead acid batteries, tires, and propane cylinders. The prohibited materials are removed and taken to the appropriate area for recycling. Materials such as cardboard, metals, and wood are removed for recycling. This is some of the metal, wood, and cardboard removed from the incoming waste for recycling. The revenue generated from the sale of all our commodities is shared on a percentage basis with our partners in a very unique revenue sharing program. The remainder of the waste is transported by conveyors from the tipping floor to the baling floor. The waste falls into the baler and is baled into nearly 4,000 pound bales. The bales measure 43 inches by 43 inches by 60 inches. The bales contain almost the equivalent of two years worth of waste from the average single family home in St. Lucie County. The bales are then loaded by forklift onto a transport vehicle and truck to a working area of the bale fill. The bales are unloaded by a front end loader with forks and stacked like building blocks. This method allows us to put nearly twice the amount of garbage into the same amount of space as a conventional landfill. An average of 80 tons of construction and demolition debris is received each day. Construction and demolition, C and D, debris is taken to the C and D processing facility. The material is sent through a system that uses a vibratory hopper, star screens for size separation, magnets, manual sorting, and an air separator to remove light fractions such as insulation and paper. Wood, metals, dirt, concrete, brick, and cardboard are removed for recycling. This allows for nearly a 70% reduction in material that requires landfilling. The processed wood is sold to a company to be utilized as a fuel in a cogeneration electric plant. Yard waste, vegetative debris, is delivered to another area where it is processed into a fuel to be utilized as a fuel to generate electricity at a power plant. As required by federal regulations, the landfill gas created by decomposing organic waste is collected through a system of 90 horizontal and vertical gas wells. A 50 horsepower electric motor drives a blower that places a negative pressure in the system drawing the gas to this collection and compression system. In 2004, St. Lucie County entered a long-term contract with Tropicana for the purchase of the landfill gas. The gas is sent through a chiller to cool the gas and compress it to remove moisture. The gas is then sent through underground pipes to Tropicana to be utilized to either make electricity or as a fuel in the boiler to pasteurize the juice. Residents of Port St. Lucie, Unincorporated St. Lucie County, and St. Lucie Village can bring household hazardous waste for disposal or recycling free of charge. Additionally, residents can deliver end-of-life electronics such as iPods, computers, TVs, etc. Residents who wish to dispose of end-of-life electronics may call Waste Pro for a free at-home pickup. 